Hi, and welcome, welcome to a world that is riddled in technology, so advanced that it would be alien to the people in the 70s. Of course, innovation in technology is nothing old, it is brand new, and people need to innovate to survive, thrive, and most importantly, to stay relevant to the world that was becoming of them. Now, in today's documentary, I am going to give you the backstory of how technology ramped up. Because technology today is the technology they did not have in the past. So join me, subscribe, like, comment and share as I give you guys the beginning of what people thought technology was in the past. Three point three million years ago it all started before the species of human beings even became anything. Sharp flakes and sharp stone was used as knives and larger unshaped stone was used as hammers and anvils had been uncovered in Kenya at Lake Dakana. These tools were being used by ancestors such as Australopithecus. About one million years after fire was being used, which today is definitely not known, but it would have been most likely be the ancestor of the Homo sapiens. Skipping through the era of Neolithic revolution with created clay for bricks and clothing being made for all the way through to what we know today a telephone in the year 1876 once it became possible to send information through a war in the form of dots and dashes the next step was of course voice communication a man named Alexander Graham Bell made the first ever phone call on March the 10th, 1876, when he asked the assistant, Tom Watson, to come, come to him. The famous words he said was, Mr. Watson, come in here. I want to see you. Years after, in 1885, we came to our first automobile, which was a three-wheel car that, was dro that drove around a track. The car itself did not make a commercial splash until 1888. In 1927, after the development of radio, the transmission of an image was the next logical step. Early television used the mechanical disc to scan the image. As a teenager in Utah, Fellows Farnsworth became convinced that a mechanical system would not be able to scan and assemble images multiple of times a second. In 20, 1922, the 16 year old Farnsworth worked out a plan for such a system, but it wasn't until 1927 that the first electronic television transmission A horizontal line which contained a charging power of 30 hours and you only get 10 minutes worth of talking time on that phone just imagine nowadays charging is about one minute back then it was about 30 hours just imagine what 
things would be like today if technology would not exist. So, 30 hours, there was a brick phone, as you'll see on the screen now. It was a phone which was terribly old. You've seen it in a lot of programs, of course. You've seen it on Friends, the TV show. You've seen it on various uh, shows back in the day. But the thing is that the phone got smaller, got thinner, got quicker, and it got more expensive. Now, this first ever phone was commercial. Uh, it was three over three point nine thousand dollars back then now it's over nine point nine thousand dollars it is as you say really uh, really old but it is vintage and i think that's the key to all of technology the older it gets the more it's worth so that's the first phone, the Motorola, which was shocking, really. So, yeah, that was the first phone. But there are a few other technologies, like the first ever computer was good ish. <laughs> it had a funky screen on it, and it had, a, it had loads of weird stuff on it, but nothing like today so computers were weird but obviously not the actual computer system the monitor and all that were they were doing in funky styles so yeah the keyboard and mouse were so different to the ones we know today so yeah but the actual pc is all like <laughs> so like very old technology which you see in A and film but yeah so uh, PCs and computers have revolutionized phones have been revolutionary uh, other things are video games and everyone would know Donkey Kong and Pac-Man they were the OGs back in the day. And so with that said, we covered everything. Maybe not everything that you want, but everything in advanced. So I, I've been Sam Ring. This has been the Ring documentary. And until then, or until next time, Thank you for watching, show your love and support, subscribe, like, comment and share and I'll see you guys next time.